The bell rings. The bell rings. And we are ready for second fall action. And let's face it, do or die for Hacksaw Sawyer. One of the many cliches that we can borrow from other sports. Never say die, Hacksaw Sawyer. How about this one? For Hacksaw, there's no tomorrow. And that is indeed true in this situation. He has lost the first ball to win the heavyweight championship of the world. He has to win two straight balls now against a very, very talented and tough Ric Flair. But we've seen him do tough things before. Battling for the top wrist lock. Flair seems to have it. No, he's coming back against it. Coming back. And turns it into a side headlock. Max Sawyer is lifted, dropped. He keeps the hold. It's your boy, Rick Flair, brought right over the top. 289 42 22, the number to call. Normally that number is answered is man or woman <laughs> on Sundays and Tuesdays. I would say that by Tuesday, probably all the ringside seats will be gone. You can try if you want to, but I'd call that number tomorrow or better yet, come out to the flea market. Go to the concession stand because you can buy your ticket and then you get it right away. When you come out here Tuesday night, you don't have to stand in line. If you make telephone reservations, they must be picked up no later than 8 o'clock. They will go on sale to the general public. They're not picked up by 8. Nails him with a flying tackle across. Leapfrog by Flair. Flying body press. He might have him. Not quite. Sandy Barr took a bump. Oh, almost. Fine body press. Elbow smash to the ribs. Judo chop. Tell you it's wilder here tonight than at a Billy Rancher in the end. Holy God's Jam section. It is wild. Elbow smash, back of the head. Uppercut. The young Floridian is down. Flair gonna try to put him away. Knee drop. Hacksaw. Looks like he has had it. One, two, kicks out of it. Kicked out just barely in time. He goes in behind. Sit out backbreaker on Flair. He flipped all the way up from behind. Sit out to his back. Forearm smashes back of the head. A whip. You want to catch him with a shoulder throw backdrop. Flair came up short, and they both bang. Flair's favoring the left arm. And trying to get Flair in the grapevine. He's got him in an abdominal stretch. Flair saying no, refusing to submit. Hacksaw stretching him out. Flair able to pull him over the top. Hacksaw getting out of the way on that elbow drop. And that was right misses from Flair, but not Hacksaw's. His landed.
Ric Flair, the most colorful world champion in decades, and some say maybe the most talented. Whether he's better than Funk, Briscoe, whoa! Harley Race, yet to be seen, only a track record. Can prove how good you are. Sire is down on the concrete. Through the ropes. He's out on this side. Flair going on after him. Flair outside the ring, giving him punishment. Taking him into the steel ring post. Flair working on the challenger outside the ring. And I'll tell you something that shows that Flair is getting worried about this guy. He's trying to take care of business wherever he has to. Rick Flair has one fall up, but he is not cocky, I don't think, but feeling he's got this man nailed. Shoulder breaker. Covers him with a body press, and that could be it. No! Flair thought Sherry had two count, or three count, rather. Sota. One, two, and he kicks out again. Rick Flair. Three times he has nearly nailed the challenger. Into the ropes. Over the top. You got him with a victory roll. Can he get the pin? No, he cannot. Flair able to kick out of it. We are in second fall action. A chance. Flair. Is pulled to the mat in a backslide, nearly the count of three. Get to the midsection, elbow smash, top of the head. Remember, Buddy Rose has challenged the winner of this match. We haven't heard if John Owen has given it to him. If we got the winner, it would be the last we'd see a Rhodes if we understand everything right. We'll go into that more later. I tell you, these two guys are groggy. They are really expending some energy. Hacksaw's got to be worried to not get disqualified. Takes him out of the corner. No, it's reversed. It's Hacksaw, whipped hard into the corner. The heavyweight champion of the world, Ric Flair. Working on him, elbow smash. And here's the figure four, no! He got kicked off on it. The figure four is what the champ likes to put his opponent's away with, and it's what he's trying to put on. This is where Hacksaw said he had a counter to it. Let's see if he can give it. He small packages him. Two, three. Saw Sawyer wins the second fall. Hacksaw Sawyer with a brilliant 
small package after he had successfully defended against the player, putting on the we're going to run down the towns here in just a moment there just a second I'll give you a uh, rundown of the towns where wrestling is and remember all of these through until next Saturday as far as I know the heavyweight champion of the world is appearing and on most of the cards so is Jimmy Offie who is here for our first match tonight so some of the uh, some of the action and where it's coming up all week long Finley Washington up by the Tri-Cities area Monday Longview Tuesday here a big card in Portland Wednesday a super shootout in Seattle Thursday there's a giant card down at Salem and that is at South Salem High School on Thursday Friday Eugene the fairgrounds out know it's got a super one there Rocky Johnson getting the shot next Saturday we'll be back in Portland and a week from tomorrow is Tacoma Washington Right now, we're going to take the moment to talk to the big match at South Salem High School. Sandy Barr, Rocky Johnson. Yes, uh, I understand that Rocky signed a contract two weeks ago to go in Eugene against the champion. So, you know, you won the Battle Royal in Salem last week, and uh, that gave you the, uh, the opportunity to wrestle him there, right? Right. So you got two chances now. Do you want to take both of them or not? Well, why not, man? This is something I've been waiting for a long time. So I'll take him. I'll wrestle him in Salem, and maybe when I come to Eugene, I'll be the champion there. But I'll definitely will take him Thursday and Friday, too. Great. Okay, we can tell you this. It's going to be Rick Flair and Rocky Johnson Thursday and Friday. No doubt about it. Do we stay right here now, or do we go away, or do I do my interview? <laughs> 